Okay, so let's talk about testing for um, inequalities. So we've just seen the branch of not equals statement, um, or n branch of equals, where we test for equality between registers. Now we want to do what we want to do is test for an inequality. Um, an inequality meaning if one register is less than the other. Um, we want to not jump, but at least set a particular register to indicate whether or not um, it's true that one register is less than the other. So these two instructions, sometimes they get confused. The SLT is a set on less than. Um, sometimes, since we've just um, seen something like this, a shift left logical, there's some confusion between the two instructions. So we're not shifting bits here in this one. We're doing a set, a particular register, the first one, based on the condition, meaning whether or not the second is less than the third. Um, and a set on less than immediate is looking to see if the second is less than a particular number, an immediate value, and you can put any value you wish in there to um, essentially any value that you wish to compare with some limitations based on the limitations of registers and word size. But this could have been an 8, a 3, a 4, etc., a 500, a 10,000. Um, and what happens is that in this case, for example, if S3 is less than S4, then T0 gets set to a 1. If S3 is not less than S4, then T0 gets set to a 0, essentially a false statement. So in this case, this is also telling you that S3 um, certainly isn't less than S4, which means it's greater than or equal to S4. That's what it's telling you. Um, so now let's see how we can use these statements. One thing that's important about this, um, if you think about this, in order to test whether or not a value is less than another, one of the easiest ways to do it is to do a subtraction. And in fact, in the implementation of this SLT instruction, it does a subtraction. So imagine that S3 has a value. S4 has a value. When you do a subtraction between those values, if the first one, such as the 3, is less than the second one, the 5, you'll end up with a negative value every single time if it's true that the first is less than the second. What we know about negative values is that <clears throat> um, the most significant bit will always be a 1. For negative values, the most significant bit will always be a negative 1. So this is a negative 2, and if we let's say we had 4 bits, a negative 2 would be like a negative 8 and a 6. So this is negative 2, how it would be represented with just 4 bits. And certainly we could extend this so that negative 2 with 32 bits, if we sign extended it, would look something like this. Um, and let's see, 1, 2, 4, 8, negative 8 plus, let's see, 4 and 2, positive 6 equals a negative 2. So that shortcut for converting works. And the other check on this is if I, 1, 2, 3, 4, I see that it's negative because of the most significant bit. If I want to know the magnitude, magnitude, my habit is to first remember that it's negative and go write that in the answer box. And then flip all the bits and then add 1. And you'll see that you end up with a magnitude of 2. So this is indeed negative 2. So there are two ways of getting that value. Um, that answer oops, would have been a negative 2. So there are two ways of getting that negative value, um, given that you know the shortcut way or to do the um, flip the bits and add 1. Both of those will decode it. But the important thing is, is that the most significant bit 
is a 1. If the first value is less than the second value. Um, and so when this is implemented in hardware, a subtraction is done between two registers, S3 and S4, and then that most significant bit of that number, whatever that number is, right, that most significant bit is pulled around and is placed into T0. So this ultimately represents, or the answer for T0 ultimately represents the most significant bit of the result of this subtraction. So that's important. When we come back to the hardware, we're going to revisit this. But um, the thing that there are two things to take home um, right now is that do the subtraction uh, when, when you're looking at comparing two registers if the first one is less than the second one right if s3 is less than s4 then t0 gets set to a one otherwise it gets set to a zero what helps you remember this is that you can say that this is true right if s3 is less than four set t0 to true Typically, a 1 or an integer value represents a true. Otherwise, set t0 to a false. So that's how set on less than works. And um, it's similar if we're working with an immediate value. An immediate value is what we often call constant. We call it an immediate value because it's embedded in the instruction. So in the next part of this, we'll look at an example um, of a set on less than set on less than immediate implementation. So this will be the next um, video clip.